This is how lightning is born. Even the biggest thunderstorms start off as tiny little clouds pretty close to the ground. These low clouds are made up of little drops of liquid water since the air is warm close to the earth. As rising air in the cloud brings these little water droplets higher into the sky, the air around them is colder and this causes them to freeze. When a thunderstorm is fully developed, millions of these little particles of ice and water are colliding every second. This builds up an electrical charge. Just like a battery, a cloud forms a positive side and a negative side. When the charge gets strong enough, the atmosphere gets uncomfortable and it wants to even itself out. In just a fraction of a second, a connector forms between the two charges. And then, sometimes this connection is between two clouds, but other times it can be between the cloud and the ground. This happens when the charge in a cloud connects to an opposite charge coming up from the ground. Lightning is spectacular to watch, but be sure to do so from indoors. And remember, if you're close enough to see the lightning or hear the thunder, it's not safe to be outside.